Hello and welcome. My name is Christina from Empowered Creator. I am a mindset and conscious manifesting teacher and coach, and this is my YouTube channel. Here I talk about all things law of assumption, mindset, conscious manifesting, the quantum universe, and a lot more. And my goal is to simplify everything without the fluff. So if you guys like this content and you would like to see more of it, I would love it if you would subscribe to this channel, comment on this video, like it, share it, and stick around. Also, if you need help with your specific situation, I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching, email coaching, as well as custom subliminals for whatever needs you may have. I also have a self-study mini course, Telepathically Connect with Your Specific Person. So if you guys are interested in any of these services, the links are below in the description box. Click on them and they're going to take you to my website. With all that being said, let's dive into today's video. Today's video is probably going to be partly a reminder and partly a pep talk slash motivation talk to help you remember that in the process of manifesting your desires, whatever these desires might be, you should not neglect to live your life at the same time. So this is what I'll be discussing in today's video. Stay tuned. So I know and I understand that most of you are actually anxious to get your desires as soon as possible. You could have had your desires yesterday if it was up to you. I get that. I am the same way. Everyone is the same way. The trap a lot of you fall into, however, is that in that effort, in that attempt to get your desires as soon as possible, you get caught into a process of doing techniques and doing manifesting methods all day long, for days, for weeks on end, affirming all day long. I've heard that so, so many times. I've been affirming 24-7. I've been affirming 24-7. Trying to visualize all the time, trying to do this technique and that technique. And in the process of doing all that, you guys are forgetting and neglecting to live your actual life. So I wanted to make this video today to remind you guys that manifesting is supposed to be awareness work. It's supposed to be consciousness work. It's supposed to be reprogramming your mind and yourself and that type of work. However, it's not the same kind of work as you would do in a nine to five job, for example, or in an office job, or I don't know, a factory job or whatever other job. You're not supposed to devote X amount of hours every day doing nothing else but affirming, affirming, affirming. I know affirming is is the biggest culprit when it comes to overdoing it with manifesting you're not supposed to be spending your entire days doing techniques doing affirmations doing inner conversations scripting visualizing meditating etc all you're achieving by doing this is you're actually letting your life pass you by and not living your life the way you're supposed to live your life and I want to remind you guys that the reason you want your desires is for actually your life to be more fun, more pleasant, more enriched, more interesting. At the end of the day is so that you feel good within yourself, but not spending time with the people you like and love, not spending time with people who are important to you, for example, or canceling engagements just to say, stay home and affirm, or just to stay home and not get triggered, or stay home and meditate, or whatever it might be. You guys, that is not living your life. That is letting your life slip through your fingers. And that's actually not going to bring your manifestation any faster. I've said it before many, many times. It is your dominant inner state that brings your manifestations. The more natural you feel about your desire, the faster it comes. It's not how many times you affirm. It's not how many times you look the scene in your head. If it's 500 times, 1,000 times, 5,000 times. It's not these challenges that were so trendy last year about doing 10K affirmations and all that. It's not a game of numbers and it's not a game of how much time you have spent on it. It's actually a game of consciousness, it's a game of awareness, and it's a game of focus. And if you look at your manifestations that have come the easiest to you, you are going to see and realize that you didn't actually put all that much energy into them. You kind of thought about them and then you went on to live your life and then the next day or a few days later or a few weeks later, they appeared. You set the intention, maybe you had an imaginal scene, maybe you said some affirmations, maybe you did some inner conversations, then again, you went on to live your life. It's very, very important, you guys, to live your life and the reason why it's so important is because like I said, the 3D reflects your dominant inner states. If your dominant inner state is constantly a state of trying, affirming, 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 putting my life on hold because I have to do all these manifesting techniques to bring my desire in fast, your state is the state of trying to manifest. However, on the other hand, 
If your dominant state is a state of, yes, I'm going to set my intentions. Yes, I'm going to do some of my techniques. Yes, I'm going to put some energy into it. But also, I'm going to prioritize feeling well. I'm going to prioritize living the best life that I can, living the fullest life that I can, giving myself the best life that I can give myself. Because that makes me feel good. That makes me feel happy. What do you think your state is? You're in a content state. You're in a fulfilled state. You're in a state where you feel complete and full. And what happens when you're in such a state? Your manifestation comes in faster, easier, and more effortlessly. Because you're not in the trying to manifest state. You're in the state of, I'm fulfilled, I'm content, I'm good. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling well. So I wanted to remind this to you guys, to whoever needs to hear it, that it's very, very important not to let manifesting and the manifesting process consume you to such an extent. Yes, put in some energy. Yes, put in some focus. Yes, set your intentions. Yes, do whatever techniques help you get into the state of the wish fulfilled. But other than that, live your life, be happy, be well, be grateful, and don't use manifesting to the detriment of you living your life. We all have a finite number of days in this world. We owe it to ourselves to be living the best life we can and give ourselves the best life that we can because this life is a gift. And something that I read years ago in a motivational book that has really, really stuck with me, the author was saying, you need to celebrate each and every day of your life. You need to celebrate each and every day of your life. You need to give yourself the fullest life that you can, the best life that you can, because today, is the first day of the rest of your life. And that is worth celebrating. So don't let manifesting consume you guys to such an extent where you neglect to live your life. Your manifestation is going to come. It's going to come as part of your life and as part of your current 3D. And you owe it to yourself to prioritize your happiness, your well-being, your fulfillment, your contentment, and treat the manifesting process as a part of your life, but by no means as your whole life. So I hope this has resonated with whoever it was meant to resonate with. Get yourself out of this manifesting trap that a lot of people fall into if you're in this trap, and you're going to see how much more easily and effortlessly and naturally your manifestations are going to start coming in. With all that being said, I'm going to wrap up this video here. I intend that this has helped. As always, I very much appreciate you guys being on this channel, watching this content. I love making this content for you. And as always, I look forward to seeing you all at the next video. Until then, take care and bye-bye.